Hey guys, Dote here. I was having another fairly rough day where either I had empty lobbies or my brain would turn off mid fight and I would die. Honestly, my brain was turning off against PvE too. I was just struggling. I feel like it's just going to be a beginning of the week thing. It's been happening every week for the past few. Oh well, it just wasn't my best day. But I was motivated to get a video here for y'all, so I kept dying and dying and dying. Then I decided, you know what? I know how to fix this, wizard. And you might be thinking that wizard is a skill-based character. And if you're thinking about Tenspo wizard, then you would be completely right. But that's not the wizard that I'm talking about here. We're gonna be running an ignite build with arcane shield. Our perks are giving us extra survivability and damage. We can use zap and fireball to poke. And if all else fails and we get pushed, we have Arcane Shield and Ignite to save the day. This build is actually really strong and really easy to use. I would highly recommend trying it if you never have before. Although I would say that Ten Spell Wizard is easier to build for. The Ignite build splits stats a bit more because we're also wanting Dexterity. So we're either going to be missing out on health, damage, or move speed that the 10 spell build could capitalize on, but this one's just a lot easier to actually play. Anyway, my honest thoughts before this game were one in doubt, pull the wizard out. I hope you'll enjoy. All right, now that my long intro is over with, I'm just gonna be talking about the game. And the one small problem with wizard in general is that PVE clear is a little bit difficult. Magic missile help, ignite helps, but you're just not gonna be clearing through the map as quickly as say a bard, a rogue, or a fighter. Speaking of bards and rogues, there was one bard and one rogue running around the lobby. And I'm assuming that at least one of them is gonna be going to a boss. I usually run to Cyclops from here, but instead I'm planning to go to Cave Troll. The reason for that is I think Cave Troll is slightly easier to solve with an ignite wizard than cyclops is the range on the magic staff just really isn't good enough for the rockfall phase and fighting cave troll really isn't that bad as long as you're willing to use your ignites also where we started on the map is the same distance from both bosses it's literally the far corner from both of them so it really doesn't matter so you basically just need to make it through the goblin tunnels make one quick turn and we'll be in goblin town it's not too far it's really not bad also be really careful about that bola there used to be a ledge there blocking its way and now there isn't so it can just run around it and i always forget about that and get hit by him And if you're not noticing, I am basically only using the mouse one. You can use mouse two with the magic staff. It's just a little bit more dangerous because it has a pretty long animation before it actually hits. So while you're clearing mobs, it's typically best to just use the mouse one. And Goblin Town, where Cave Troll is, is going to be directly through the door to our left. But before we go there, I'm just deciding to open up the last two chests to my right, just to see if we can get anything good from them first. When I came through this door, I heard a bat flapping, so I assumed somebody was on Cave Troll and just went to check it out. When I got down there, I heard that somebody was still fighting Cave Troll, so I just decided to wait until it was killed, and then I was going to jump in and try to take the loot.
And now that the cave trail's down, we're gonna head on in there. We just wanna make sure to ignite haste immediately. So that way we have it in case the other person is right there. But he was actually on the other side of the room. So I tried to fireball to knock him off of the door. It didn't work. He was able to get the door open first because he's a rogue and has really high interaction speed. So I just started to push him. Before we open the door, we're just gonna ignite haste again and try to get a few zaps or fireballs. But if he pushes us, we're just gonna immediately proc arcane shield and take the melee fight. We should win it. And that fight was down. Reactive shield and arcane shield both mitigated a ton of damage for us. Arcane shield also procced on him, which basically just spiked back and hurt him. We hit him with two ignites and that was the fight. I know that wizard is usually seen as a very difficult class, but I promise that this build is very easy and really effective. The only other class in the game that I wouldn't fight like that is barbarians. And that's just in case they have iron will. We won't be doing the most damage to them. But honestly, if we get a few zaps in first, we're still able to do it. All right. And now that we got a nice padded tunic and some upgrades for our boots, they're lace turn shoes with three will and move speed bonus. We're just going to go pull from the pile and see if anybody took down Cyclops. Oh, but first we definitely need to campfire just to get our health back and our spells. Add Fizz isn't necessarily the best, but a knowledge cape never hurt any wizard. And now I need to organize my very disorganized stash. This pile is going to be what I want, and the next pile is going to be what I'm ready to give up. And I decided it's time to get out of here, but then I realized that I never checked the Cyclops room again, and I wanted to go do that, so I used haste to try to get down there quicker. And it wasn't open again. So now it's time to go back and try to get the zone the quickest way we possibly can. And now that we made it back into the zone, we're just going to clear out a few mobs and we're going to be good to go for the rest of the game.
I know I'm going to take more swarm damage, but I'm deciding since this lion's head's just sitting here for free, I'm going to grab that too. And now that we grab that lion's head, we're going to be clearing to the static extract right here. Assuming that nobody took it, I'm just going to use it as a fallback plan. But I'm going to run around and try to see if there's any other players around still. And since there's another lion's head right here and I haven't hurt anybody, I'm just going to go ahead and grab that. And now we have our second fallback plan, and I'm just going to try a few more doors to see if there's anybody around. But if there's nobody here, then we're just going to get out of here. Spoiler alert, if there's nobody left in the game. I'm just running around like a crazy person. So if you enjoyed the video, please just give it a like or a comment. Both of those things help the algorithm. Or if you liked me, consider subscribing to the channel. All of those three things help. And I post dark and darker content every Monday through Friday. Also, if you want to join a community of people who like dark and darker and other video games like it, I'm going to have my community discord linked in the description below. Feel free to click that, come by, and say hey. And as always, I hope that each and every one of you have a very great day, and I hope to see y'all next time. Peace.